It's springtime in Algonquin Provincial Park, and from the outside, it all looks perfectly serene. But it's mating season, and painted turtles everywhere are getting frisky. The male painted turtles do their best to woo a female. They dance, chase, and tickle. Biologists have long assumed that this is part of a rather peaceful courtship display where the females have the final say in who she will mate with. However, male painted turtles might not be the romantics we've all been led to believe. That's me, in the canoe, conducting research in Algonquin Provincial Park. Myself, alongside other Algonquin turtle researchers, regularly find female painted turtles with gashes on their head and neck. These wounds are commonly associated with a mating season, and they look suspiciously like bite marks. This could hint that males aren't always gentlemen. In addition to having long forelimb claws, male painted turtles are also endowed with fang-like structures along their upper lip. These fangs are also called philtra. I've started thinking about painted turtles more like Count Dracula than the Romeos for which they've been portrayed. These males will seduce females, get in close, and then go in for the bite. The mating of painted turtles may be much more violent and forced than we had ever previously believed. I first got this idea to study the filter of painted turtles while working in Algonquin Park. I was noticing that different male turtles had all different sizes of fangs, and so I decided to use my master's research to investigate this further. I want to find out whether males that have bigger fangs have also gained an upper hand when it comes to mating. In many ways, it's similar to human mating strategies. In movies and on television, we often see that the muscle jerk ends up getting the girl, whereas the scrawny guy who arrives with a beautiful bouquet of flowers gets snubbed. For my study, I'm interested in knowing whether it's the pushy jock or whether it's the polite romantic that ends up getting the girl in the end. And if indeed the males use these fangs to secure females for mating, um, then perhaps this trait is experiencing sexual selection. Turtles are a very interesting and important group for study. In Ontario, we have eight species of turtles, seven of which are classified as species at risk. And the more that we know about how they reproduce, the better we can understand how to help them recover. While the painted turtle is not considered to be at risk, it is well studied and considered a model species. By understanding the painted turtle, we can apply our knowledge to other species at risk here in the province. I feel incredibly lucky to work in Algonquin Provincial Park. It's an absolute haven for wildlife and it provides such a unique opportunity for me to study these turtles. Researchers have been working on the long-term life history study of Algonquin's turtles since 1973, so I have a lot of background data and the work of other students to continue to support my research. Turtles play such a critical role in aquatic ecosystems and are a vital part of the food web. The mass of turtles in these wetlands, that is the biomass, is equivalent to that of fish and it far surpasses that of mammals and birds. In a lot of ways, turtles are a puzzle and I'm interested in piecing together the part that is their love life. So the next time you pass by a pond or marsh, perhaps you'll stop just as I did and wonder, what's going on beneath the water's surface?